So as I said in the previous lecture, what I want to do is just make you aware of other themes and I'm going to show you how easy it is, in fact, to swap them in and out for your store. Uh, what I don't really want you to do is to spend an enormous amount of time doing this. I just want you to treat this as a little bit of knowledge that later on, you know, once we actually build out the business, because that's what this course is all about, you know, once we get to that and you've built out your business, at that point, perhaps come back here and choose a theme that's appropriate. So this is more about awareness. So let's have a look and see how we can actually go about this. So here we are on the themes page. And if I scroll down a bit, I've got some options here. I've got free themes and I've got Shopify theme store. Now, if I click on explore free themes, I get a handful of themes, but it demonstrates the point very nicely. You can see that this theme simple has a very different layout to this one called pop, which itself has a different layout to boundless and so on. All right. So each theme has its own unique style. So let's just say for the sake of example, I liked this Brooklyn theme. What I can do is select it. It gives me various features about it. I can read more about it. I can, in this case, choose a different style between classic and playful, but let's just leave it on classic. And then I say to myself, yep, I like this theme. I want to use it. So I click on Add Brooklyn. Now at this stage, nothing's changed, but if we scroll down here, we see that the Brooklyn theme is available. And under these actions, I can now publish this if I wanted to. In other words, change what I currently have, the debut theme, for this Brooklyn theme. Now, often when you change themes, the images aren't preserved, but the text is. So I'm just going to show you that example right now. So let's click on Publish. It gives me an, are you sure you want to do this? And I'm sure, so I'm going to click on Publish. And the whole thing refreshes, and now I have a different look and feel to my store. So if we go back here now and refresh, as I say, the images aren't preserved. We get a completely different layout. If I scroll down here, for example, you see all of this feature collection. These things are very different to the debut theme. I've even got a subscribe to our newsletter, which wasn't part of the debut theme. It's part of the Brooklyn theme. The way this bottom menu, you probably remember, was horizontal. Now it's vertical. OK, so each theme is very, very different in its look and feel. And you may find one very appealing for your store later on in the day. But let's say now I don't want to do that, right? I want to go back to where I am. Well, that's very, very simple. So now debut theme is in the list. So if I want to basically just go back, actions, publish the debut theme, click on publish again, and I'm back to where I started. Now, scrolling down again, we had free themes. And as you saw, there was probably what eight to 10 free themes. That's it. But we do have this Shopify theme store. And if we visit the theme store, this is where you get access to hundreds, possibly thousands of different themes on pretty much everything you can think of. So, you know, just scrolling down, we've got find the perfect theme for your online store that will take you through a whole process. We've got a bit of trending going on. We've got some different layouts, minimalistic style. And what I like in particular is this browse by industry. OK, if I go into this, there's all kinds of themes related to specific industries. So I don't want to repeat myself, but later on in the day, once we've gone through the process of building out a great business, you might have a business that revolves around, let's say, some sort of toy or maybe jewelry like I'm doing here or art or whatever it might be. And you can come back here and you can choose a theme which really gives your store a fantastic professional feel. So we'll stick with the debut theme for the moment. But the message is that's not really the one you want for the long term. OK, come back here once you've done this whole course and really produce something super, super cool.